if you know me, you know there's a part of my video game heart that has been cut out and left behind. You know there's something that I did all the time, constantly, every day. Posted about it, talked about it, laughed about it, marched about it, dressed about it, lived about it, and it stopped. And it was gone. And I, I thought that it would be years and years before I got to feel like that again. And then Disney Dreamlight Valley. Look, if you know me, you also know I'm a massive Disney fan. This boy had all of the scrunchy, squishy, giant big box VHS tapes. This boy went to Disney World many, many times. At one point, being an annual pass holder of both Disneyland and Disney World. This boy had the pajamas, had the plushies, had the bedspread, and had the wall posters. So when the game released, I was like, dude, this could be it. And, and they blew people away. A million players in 10 days, so much customization, a ton of content, better graphics, and on so many platforms, Disney Dreamlight Valley delivered. I played a ton of it right from the get-go, and then my life got crazy. I'm not talking about video game stuff anymore. I'm talking about real life stuff, some of you know. And I hadn't had a chance to play Dreamlight Valley and attend to my valley in a while but they're adding new worlds, new characters, and showing, showing us that game from before. They could have done it different. They could have done it different. They didn't have to abandon us. They could keep the support strong. So when Disney Dreamlight Valley asked if they could sponsor this video, I said, you know what? You're showing people how to do it right. You're showing me what long-term love looks like, a relationship for years, and you're on Switch. Pfft. Sign me the heck up. So big thanks to Gameloft and the team behind Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring this video. Make sure to click the link in the description down below to check out what they're cooking. We're going to dive full into this update. It's remarkable. They care about the players. They bring the content and they fix so many things. Quality of life. Quality of life. A developer cares about QOL exactly how we asked for it. Boom. This is brilliant, beautiful, and full of toys. So what's brilliant here is that their updates, they do bring content, right? They bring items and we'll take a peek at them. But they also bring new worlds. Now that only happened once for us in the, the game from before. We got Harv's Island opened up, but here they bring you a new world. So this is their holiday update with their holiday track, star path of all the holiday items, because it is coming December 6th, of course. But it is also missions in uncharted space. And just take a peek at this right here, okay? Everything's all done up for Christmas. That's very nice. The holidays, we get to go to the frosted heights. The whole world has a seasonal change. Okay, maybe you've seen that before. But you also get to charge your batteries in a new freaking realm, which is Toy Story. And you're small. You're, you're legitimately small. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. Look at this. They got this. First of all, their organization is supreme here. All right. The Toy Realm obviously features Woody. It features Buzz. And you are toy small, right? So they shrink you down to match you up with the characters and make it immersive as all heck. And of course, because it's a new world, they do bring in all sorts of new outfits, all sorts of new gear, and they're just killing this. If they keep this pace up, if they keep this cadence up, this is the new precedent. This is what we want to see. I mean, Buzz and Woody are there reacting in character to the Disney villains and operating, moving around the world in the... Like, it gives me goosebumps because as a major Disney fan, to see them incorporate things so well and to draft it up better than I could have imagined is remarkable. This would have been an easy game to drop the ball on. This would have been so easy to just goof it, right? I mean, Goofy's in the game. You could have goofied this whole thing up, but they're allowing you to explore these realms, bring the characters back to your valley, and I think that's the perfect combination. I think the real emphasis on NPCs being like such a critical part of the game and them being memorable, interactable, friendable is really, really cool. And here's like the new star path that I was talking about. We'll see all the items. They've got the custom motifs that you can put on the clothes. They've got all sorts of festive decor, and I swear... The decor looks so good in this game. Like, they did it up nicely. Okay, you even have new character looks, which this is remarkable. Like, I love that you can dress up the major NPCs and make them look the way you want. Fantastic addition in this December update. Missions in Uncharted Space, bringing in, you know, the Toy Story content, bringing in seasonal content as well. And then check this out. This shows like they know what's up. Okay, and I hope people take notice. Community-driven changes. 
We're excited to share this absolute, absolutely story and content pack second update their fans, but we've also been paying attention to feedback. Okay, so they're making quality of life changes. Remember how often we were like, could we just get some QOL? Could we get some QOL? People made fan trailers making minor QOL improvements because the game won. And here's Dreamlight Valley doing it. We added a day-night toggle so that fans from every time zone can choose to enjoy Dreamlight Valley sunset and sunrise as they choose. Dress your best for the holiday season. New makeup has been added. Up your efficiency. They have made like new enhancements to the tool set so the tools can become better. Uh, have a favorite memory. Highlight it in a special memory frame. Um, previously unlocked by players in our wishlist campaign, the first character skins are available now in the valley, so they're bringing content that was previously locked now to the game. Worried about the environmental concerns of leaving your lights on your home? You can now toggle the lights on and off. This is crazy. This is the level of like detail and content curation that you love to see and you don't see very often, right? This is just really, really, really great that they are absolutely thinking of everything. Some fans probably said like, you know what? It doesn't make sense that I wouldn't turn the lights off when I leave. That's bad for the environment. We want to be like, we want to really live here like we would in, in our real world. And they did that. Okay. They've done even more for you here. You can now hang out with Ariel, brought her to the game. Uh, Kristoff expanded his stall offerings. Moonstone packages are now available for purchase, different ways to buy into sort of the season passes. Um, Steam Deck. It's not on the Steam Deck. I mean, I know we have the Switch, but I do like the Steam Deck. They also added socks. That's a big one, baby. Um, they made all these improvements, bug fixes, optimization, and they tell you about all of them. It's another thing that's really important, like letting us know specifically the quests that are impacted instead of us having to try and figure it out. Like, I love all of these additions. I love what they've done. And like, this is not the first update. If you missed it, they did my boy Scar. They actually did Halloween real darn good. And they were prepared to bring in possibly my favorite character, the rightful king. Oh my God. I thought this was so sick. Like I said, I've had a crazy couple months, but when this dropped, I was like, okay, sign me the heck up. Scar rolling around with you, feeling a little evil, feeling a little bit of betrayal. Maybe the star season pass, act bad, look good. All sorts of cool gear. Look at that. They. The, the biggest, the most important holiday, they did it so well, right? Like, they got the costumes right. And then the Valley also started getting gothled up, scarred up, ursula fine. And I think the trailers knock it out of the park, the blog post, like, all that stuff's important. All that stuff's important. Like, the way this game lives or dies is based on how it's supported, based on how they push it forward. And they are pushing it forward in a way that, I 100% approve. I mean, take a look at these new festive rewards. Like this is the holiday season done, right? This is what we dreamed of, baby. We got amazing face paint. We got premium gingerbread Mickey motifs. You can put these on clothing. You can dress it up. You can get a festive fox companion. All right, you got Stitch with the lights and you got this amazing Mrs. Claus type dress with the little like overlay thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it's fancy as all heck. That's level one. Level two, we got big pile of gifts. You remember that one? We got a hot cocoa stand. Dude, I'm drinking hot cocoa right now. They have just done it up so well. Like they theme it so beautifully. And I love that they pack in character after character after character in different art style different ways. It's clothes, it's items, it's motifs, it's all sorts of things packed together and released in a way that is relevant and fun and what people would want. You can even dress up the characters. Now this to me is a game changer because imagine, imagine if they had done this in Animal Crossing where you could dress up the characters, the main NPCs, but no, they'd be staying the same. I mean, sometimes they did switch, but not like this, not where you got Merlin rocking a candy cane wand and I can be ready for your fancy Christmas party, Michael Scott style. All right, they even got this nice big sleigh. And if we move on, we get Mickey looking merry and we get festive reindeer headbands. Very, very cool. Extra tokens and such as well. You got the hot cocoa motif, the candy cane motif. It is a beautiful world. You got special duties that are related to the holidays as well and can help you earn presents and gifts to start picking up even more. It is a beautiful thing. 
and they've already had multiple of these, and they're going to continue to have more. They're basically like battle passes, but for all the cool items, all the cool characters, all the cool headwear, all the cool clothing, the rugs, the windows, everything done up with Disney magic, and I just, it looks so nice. The visual upgrade here too, like, man, even on Switch, like, this game looks crispy, and I really appreciate that after, you know, it's the Switch after all, so it's it's nice it's nice that it looks nice. I had to flip the hat around. I gotta tip my hat to these guys. I gotta let you see the messed up bed head. I gotta do it because they delivered updates appropriately. They pushed a massive content patch and they really modified a lot of areas of the game to make it fresh and fun. They're showing what an infusion of content can do for ya. If they keep it up, they got something super special here. If they keep it up, People over there better start taking some notes. So let me know what you think of this big, massive Winter Wonderland Missions from Space. Super cool update in the comments down below. Make sure to click the link to grab Disney Dreamlight Valley and support the channel. It means a lot to me. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, love you lots. Switch Force, out.